Hey, hey guys, Cool is here with the next video. Uh, we are back at the Farron Keep. Uh, the reason for that is because uh, there's a couple things I have to do here. Uh, to kind of, we're, we're nearing the end of the playthrough, and I don't want to have to have to rush things. So I want to, if I want to conclude them in the last episode, so I, I'm gonna do them now. Uh, one of those things is just because I kind of skipped over this because. Uh, of some recording issues uh, I never got around to showing you guys uh, what this whole area was about you asshole they correct man I want them to drop a, uh, a dark sword I'm gonna switch this to gold now I did take this uh, because there's uh, a few enemies up ahead that uh, gives some items. They're actually really interesting. Oh, that guy. I hate that guy. <laughs> Fucking damage every time. Because <sighs> we're we're nearing the end of the game, and uh, I am pretty sure I'm missing. One undead bone shard? No, no, no. I'm missing two undead bone shards, one ester shard. So I'm gonna look up where I can get them, and I'm gonna go get them. Uh, this is another one of those fires we've already done. Uh, I'm talking about these guys because these are annoying. You kind of want to pull them one by one, but they're exceptionally weak to fire. So I am not that worried. So one dropped the black bow forest and one dropped the forest hat. In addition to the items they normally drop. Boom. Boom. An ember. An ember. And a poison gem. So we got the, the forest bow. Let's see. Black bow forest. Forest triple shot. Uh, Decent base damage. C scaling, I, I'm gonna assume that goes up. Like it rockets up. Let's see. Draw speed is alright. Let's see. Yeah, this, this fires uh, three arrows in a shotgun fashion. Pretty cool. Okay. Jesus Christ, man. No, 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 no. Oh my god, he's gonna kill me. I don't have my shield, so I can't block anything. Oh, I still can't block anything. God damn it, man. Yeah, fuck you. Unequip this before I kill myself. A couple of these spear guys. Sage's scroll. There's actually two two scrolls in this area alone. Yeah, these Elizabeth mushrooms, man. So sad. This basically confirms that this uh, used to be Ulusil, or at least the forest from Dark Souls One. Not immediately Ulusil. Okay, I'm just gonna... Okay, and then there's one of the crabs. Hello, crab. God damn. Pretty funny coming back to these areas at such a high level and so powerful because everything you used to struggle with now becomes easy. Uh, the lingering dragon crest ring over here extends the length of spell effects. I'm not sure if it's by 50% or less, but it's useful. It works with a lot of spells. Uh, the card of dusk. Yeah, this basically confirms it's Ulusil. 
Uh, I can't equip it right now because of the dragon stones. These are just young white branches. Don't worry too much about them. By the way, if you uh, if you take all the young white branches, which I'm which I'm gonna do by the way, because I want to get the uh, the hawk ring as well to complete the um, the ring sets. Let's see how many rings do I have. I have the. Where are they? The Le oh man, I forgot a couple of rings. We've got the Leo ring. Uh, I know you've got the Hawk ring. You've got the Hornet ring. And you've got the Wolf ring. But I don't remember where you get the Wolf ring. Is it is it uh, with the old Wolf of Faran? Because in that case, I can't get it. Uh, let's see. Is is this the cave? This is not the cave. Oh man, I may not be able to get the wolf ring if it's locked behind the uh, online play. Yep. Okay, um... <laughs> There's... Uh, no, I should get it. I was gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna just tell you guys where the golden scroll is, but I'm gonna go get it anyway. Yeah, it's right over here. Just right there is where the, um, the bonfire is. There's a couple of these guys, but they're less powerful than the, the, the other ones. Repair powder. An open chest. A golden scroll. And the antiquated dress. So this was uh, Dusk Set. So now we've got the complete Dusk Set. And I am going to just get the fuck out of here because they are annoying me. I'm um, I'm sorry, guys, to be putting uh, a kind of mild episode in between all these action-packed episodes, but this is just stuff I have to do. Let's see. Um, was it the untended graves? Yeah, it was. The um, the Hornet Ring should be in this area, uh, near some Black Knights. Uh, in case you guys didn't know, uh, Black Knight weapons are uh, stronger against demons. Okay, and uh, their armor is... Uh, very strong against fire. Oh man. Okay. Oh, the Black Knight shield, that's nice. Let's see, I don't remember where the Hornet Ring is. I'm gonna have to. Walk around and kill all of them. Oh man. Fucking hate that move. One, two. Boom. Let's, uh, let's check the stats on the uh, Black Knight shield. Uh, 85 fire resist. Well, fire absorption, if you want to call it that. Yeah, this is. Uh, Pretty damn good. It's actually got a higher stability. Man, it does everything better. While Shield of Wands already upgraded twice. But it doesn't have 20% extra soul absorption, so fuck that. Let's see, where is the Hornet Ring? Where is the Hornet Ring? The Hornet Ring? The Hornet Ring? Is somewhere over here. Here? Oh, that's probably it. At least I hope it is. Uh, oh. One, two. Another man, I want your giant axe, not your shield. Yes, there it is, the Hornet Ring. Uh, this is another one of the uh, Gwyn's Knight's rings. 
This boosts critical attack, so basically kind of forbidden in PvP. Because backstab fishing and parry fishing is just kind of bad manners, I suppose. If you manage to switch to it, then go ahead. But if you're just fishing, then you can go fuck yourself, man. Let's see. Did I forget the thing behind the giant throne? I did not. Okay, great. Yep. Um, where should I go to? Probably just go back to the bonfire. Because we actually have to travel to another spot. We're gonna have to travel to the cleansing chapel, if I remember correctly. Cleansing chapel. Um, yeah, that's definitely the closest one. M maybe, maybe actually the deacons, but it's it's fine either way. Okay. I'm gonna have to run over here again. As you can see by the way guys, most enemies, or at least a lot of enemies, especially early game, are just very resistant against fire. I mean very weak against fire. Let's see, this guy's gonna attack. 1252 damage. Yeah. Uh, we should kind of start maxing out a pyromancy flame as well. Probably. Uh, the reason I'm here, by the way, guys, is uh, to see, uh, first off, to see if I just got all the items I want from here, or at least should get. Uh, and second, because. Uh, I kind of got a. I don't want to, like, actually kill the the friendly giant. I want him to just die for unexplained reasons. And boink. Yep. Grave warden robe. Okay. They seem to be dropping everything except their weapons. Yeah, we did leave one of these. Okay, the Young White Ranch. Uh, go back to the bonfire last rest of that. Now the next place we should go is the... Back to the Undead, whatchamacallit? Undead Berg. Travel to the Undead... Undead Settlement is what I meant. Uh, this is not the closest to where I should go, I think. Maybe? Probably? No, it isn't. The dilapidated bridge is the closest, but... I wanted to check if I got the uh, shard or not. Because this one's actually one I usually skip, because... At such low level, it's more trouble than it's worth. No, uh, yeah, we did get it. We did get it. But that's fine, we can just run where we need to go. Oh, wait, did I skip this whole area? Oh, gosh, I skipped, I skipped this entire area. Because I, I went right over the bridge, I remember. Well, there's a whole... whole chunk of game over here that I completely ignored because we got this right from uh, down the hole if we drop down here drop down there right through here is uh, where we found the solar metal we can drink the Estus soup again this respawns if I'm correct if the area reloads then there's these guys that one isn't. Oh, hi. Oh, these guys actually drop their weapons. It's not a very strong weapon, but it's... It's alright. There we go. Yep. 
Okay. Now we've got some more of these guys. Something's gonna burst out from here. There we go. This is a whip. Hammer guy. Wait. I'm pretty sure I forgot a shard. Yeah, that shit deals sh tons of bleed damage. Oh wait, is it through here? No, no, no. This is uh, this is yeah. Okay. It's it's here. It's over here. Just be careful you don't roll off. Soul of an unknown traveler. Where I were almost ready to close off this episode. I want to do it at the next bonfire. No, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm only gonna end it when the when I get the giant. Oh damn. These evangelists, uh, they drop both their weapons and their... Yes, that's the weapon, the spite mace. Their weapons and their um, their armor. So let's see, the weapon. It's a strength weapon. It's a, it's a great hammer. It's got bleed damage. No deck scaling. Okay. If you guys remember, this is where we fought uh, that NPC invader. Hello! Yep. That is where the dilapidated bridge is. Up there is uh, the giant somewhere. Up there, up that brown tower. Circular tower. And we have one more of these. Yep, yeah, he's still alive, but now he shouldn't be anymore. Uh, I'm going to reload the area by traveling to the, what's it called again? Uh, the first bonfire in the woods. And after that, I'm going to call it an episode. Let's see... Yeah, Road of Sacrifices is what the bonfire is called. <sighs> I, l I was, for a second, really scared that I didn't finish off the, uh, the Frost Knight. Because I sometimes just run past it because it's not really worth the trouble if you're not going to use it at such a low level. And I, I kind of thought I was going to run into it and it just instantly die. Okay. These kind of... Yeah, they look... I was about to say, they, they, they have... The swords uh, aren't what they called solid. They have the gaps in them, which makes them extremely light. And I was gonna say, well, that kind of sounds like the and uh, looks like the Pontiff Knight weapons. And I didn't realize that uh, that that was actually exactly the point, because the dancer is one of Pontiff's knights. Uh, yeah. So if you take all the young white branches from all the the young white birch trees. Uh, it dies, the giant dies, and you can pick up the hawk ring. So what the hawk ring does is it extends the range of bows. So let's let's check that. Let's see. Uh, the long bow has a range of 50, and if I equip the hawk ring, it then has a range of still 50. What the fuck? You can't actually see it. It's just Okay, I guess you can't see it, but we all know that it works, I suppose. What 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 was I using here? 
All right, chlorine furine. Uh, anyway, guys, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe, maybe even share. And I'll see you for the next one.